Hi guys, today we're using this car to go to Bardolino, Garda Lake, for a wine tour. We're using this car because mine is broken. <laughs> Simple as that. Now we are stopping for a quick breakfast. We're here already in Bardolino, but since we have a little bit of time, then we're getting some breakfast, coffee, shitload of money. Now we're heading to the winery, let's go. And here we are, this is the Cantina Zeni from 1870. We're gonna tour the cantina and then we're gonna go through the winery and maybe even buy some wine there. For people who don't know what cantina is, cantina simply means cellar, wine cellar. I Barric think. cellar. Here what you can see, it's a... Everything started in 1870 with Gaetano Zeni. Also, all its siblings, they are responsible for different uh, continents for the selling. 80% oh, of yeah, our yeah. production goes for export and, and we're exporting in 34 wow. countries. <laughs> you have to understand that, uh, you know, Italy is, of course, famous for the wine, but I mean, um, Romans, they always took wines from the region. It was Rome, Toscany and Valpolicella. So we have a long yeah. history of, uh, as you can see, also the different type of soil. Uh, for example, our soil is more any a light, fresh, yeah. It's called Prontabere, so ready to drink, so all day long, no problem, not very really high level of alcohol. Mm. Yeah. But Polichella, for example, the soil is dark, more colored, more minerals. Of course, the wines are full bodied and structured. Yeah. Famous wines are Val, uh, Amarone and Recciotto, sweet yeah. dessert. Yeah. Amarone, we call it wine of meditation because of the high level of alcohol. You start ah, with 15% okay. till DOCG, then I'm saying the original contract Garantita, the classical so, zone. It's, ah. uh, it's basically like. Um, a stamp that the government, you can only make it here. You ah, okay, the one. It. You cannot make yeah. it somewhere else. Mm -hmm. All our wines are in the our region is always blending mm -hmm. yeah. with more type of grapes. The main grapes what we use is Molinara, Corvina and Corvinona. Mm -hmm. The typical white grape from our region is uh, Garganega. Mm -hmm. As you can see, it's beautiful, lovely, fruity mm -hmm. and flowery. We have a history about the drying grapes. Ah, the history so, of drying grapes. You know, like uh, Paenia. It's a wooden plateau, what uh, is important for a ricciotto, sweet wine and amarona. You know, if you go to Germany or in some countries, there is a ice wine, okay? Yes. Canada, in Canada. Oh, in Canada as same. well, ice wine, so they leave the grapes till the winter, near the frost. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, but here mm. we use everything inside, the doors and windows are yeah. open, and uh, there is a huge ventilator that the air is circling. So right away the tour started here in museum, so he's just going through all the museum stuff and history. Uh, is oh, that wow. the cork? Yeah, Try? that's the cork one oh. wow, It's so it's light. light. So this collection of glass comes from the Napo Napoleon? The oldest what we have yeah? from uh, Napo uh, the Napoleon era. era. Ah, the oldest and glass. This is, this yeah, is owned oldest. by the family actually. Oh, I love it. This reminds me, my grandpa used to have this one. It's oh, really? so cool, yeah. So, you want to try some Chiaretto? Typical see, see, see. Yes, Chiaretto absolutely. is the rosé wine from our okay. region. Chiaretto. Chiaro, clear. Check the wines which one you want, then the scan the coat. Ah, okay. And uh, just press the button. Garganega, Vigna Alta. Ah, I'm gonna beautiful. try the fruity ones. And voila! So the tour started in the museum, and you see the whole history of the family, how they make wine, you see the old tools they used. And then at the end of the museum, there's this dispensary, so you can just come, scan your ticket, and you can try, I think, up to eight different types of wine. And this is our first one. <laughs> it's our first wine <laughs> of the day. It's the fruity one, this one. This is a fruity one. It's a mix of Chardonnay and something else that I don't remember. <laughs> che misto era questo? Garganega e Chardonnay. Ah, okay. Gar -gar -gar Garganega e Chardonnay. There we go. Oh, it's delicious. It's very, very fruity. Mm. It's, it's sweet. Uh -huh. I love it. Yeah, you can really smell the fruit in it. You can. Okay, I can tell this is a little bit more, this is a bit stronger. 
actually, it, mm, it's a bit more bitter than the other one, but uh, amazing. I like the fruity a lot. Different uh, wine, I'll give you the Cato Spumante, okay? Ah, sure. The sparkling. Okay. Uh, amazing. So this is our first wine of the day, and um, if you come here at Fratelli Zeni Winery, their museum is free, so you can just come for a visit, check out the museum, and there's a lot of history about the winery. It's passed on to generations to generation. And I'm gonna stop talking, because this is my first wine. Wait, which one is this? Mine? Yours. This is the fruity one. So the, the fruity one. Okay. Tastes like... Tastes like wine. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Our dear friend Rado brought us another bottle of wine. So here we have Keto Spumante 2019 and 12.5% uh, of alcohol. Corvina, oh. Rondinella and 10% of Molinara as a typical grapes from our region. Wow. They are all red grapes, very really light, wow. fruity, flowery wine. Fruity very, and flowery wine. Oh, I like that. Uh, very good with uh, aperitivo, with mm. some uh, young cheese. Mm. But mm. Uh, also, in hot summer, all day long on the tell us no problem. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I could drink it all yeah. summer long. Yeah. Hey, you need to yeah, try it. It's very good. Fabi is mm. the better taster. Is it better? I love this one. It's good. Prosecco is. It's, it's very, very fruity, sparkling. So it's really, it's perfect for summer, like a pretty the beach. Wine. Yeah. So they all, don't only produce wine here, but they also have amazing olive oil, honey, jam and also balsamic vinegar, pearls of balsamic vinegar. He's gonna show us the bottling now, so we're gonna go in a different area of this cantina and uh, we're gonna see that. Wow. wow! So here you can see, you wow. know, the... Empty bottles arriving. The first machine is for the sterilization. Okay. The bottles. We use always new uh, bottles. The second machine is for the bottling the wine, nice slowly, that mm -hmm. the wine doesn't make any stress. The third machine is for the natural cork, as you can mm -hmm. see. And the number four is for the metal screw. Oh, that's then cool. immediately uh, to the boxes. We produce around 1,100,000 bottles per year. We are medium wow. big uh, wine yard in a yeah. In Italy, and uh, the few important clients are Switzerland, Germany, and Austria. Yeah. Beautiful sunset. I mean, this part of the leg is famous for beautiful sunset. You can see, I mean, Lugana, Sirmione, La Rocca. Do people book events here? Yeah. Yeah? Oh, okay. We do work. Maybe yesterday we had an uh, aperitivo here oh, wow. and dinner. So. Wow. So right now we're on our way to the vineyards and to the wine cellar. And it was beautiful. We got a chance to meet the owners of this place. It's, it's the fifth generation. Can you fifth believe that? Generation. It's incredible. It's crazy. And uh, Erika seems super, super nice. So if you come here, definitely. <laughs> wow, look awesome. at this view, Fabio. Look. <laughs> Corvina. 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 Corvina grape. How does mm. it taste? Delicious. Obviously. Delicious. <laughs> obviously. I mean, is it sweet? It's harvest season right now, so a lot of people are working in the vineyard. Harvest season is from middle of August to till the end of September. And that's why a lot of people are working here now. <laughs> now we're going down in the cantina. As soon as you walk in, look how beautifully decorated this is. Like, you see all the decorations on the wall, wood on the top. It's going into a completely different world. So this is going to be my first time going into a wine cellar, like a real wine cellar, and it has to be in Italy, so it's going to be exciting. So this is the entrance to the wine cellar, which houses a lot of bottles, barrels of wine. I wonder if we can take a whole barrel to your dad or something. <laughs> I'm so excited. So, so far we tasted two types of wine. One is sparkling and one is white wine, regular white wine. Yeah. They're all delicious, fresh. So I can't wait to taste more. Ah, uh, ciao! Ciao! <laughs> So 
in every barrel you see a label so this is Amarone and so on Amarone Classico 2017 Welcome to my kitchen Welcome to my... No, I thought, <laughs> it was a, I thought it was a restaurant but it's actually just a wine testing place and you can order different types of wine depends on what you want to taste But look at this! It's crazy! Wow! So Fabio asked earlier why this is oval and not circle and he explained that it's because to preserve the space, correct? Yeah, so it's to preserve the space and there's more barrel you can stack on right next to each other. 15,600 liter of wine. Slow weekend with a friend. Slow weekend, <laughs> Slow weekend with a friend will do. That's fine. <laughs> look, look at my size. Look. And look at the back. Wait, stay, stay, stay. Right? Wow, it's like three yanis and a half. So here it's open actually from 1 to 7 p.m. and it's gorgeous because you can have a special tasting here. So you know how upstairs there was a lot of people just wine tasting. But here you can actually sit down and also order a small platter of cheese and just enjoy a more uh, in-depth kind of tasting. So if you're coming in 2020, definitely book it ahead just in case because you know all the rules new rules because of covid but other than that you can also walk downstairs and they will be happy to serve you how oh, amazing Chiaretto in amphora. Huh? Very special. The taste is so amazing. It's so... It, it's just so rich. You almost feel like the earthy flavors, like oh. mineral and... Yeah. Is it because of the barrel? I yes. think so. Ah, okay. Because of the terracotta, it's also... Ah, okay, exclusive. So this is exclusive wine? I smell a little alcohol. Bonissimo. Bonissimo. Okay. Okay. So we're gonna smell something. Sniff, sniff something. Welcome, guys. Now <laughs> we're gonna go through a little game here. This is what's gonna happen. You get a chalkboard and a chalk, and then you have to guess by smelling in some of these boxes what scents you smell from there. Is it fruit? Is it wood? Chocolate? What else? It is dark here so that you can really focus on the sense of smell and the music that is playing is perfect for your heartbeat so you're gonna really be in the moment really nice. set the mood for this game so what we're gonna do now is to spray this one on here and okay. we're gonna smell it e poi? Mm, che buono, tra what do you smell? it's delicious citrusy flavor licorice holy shit this smells amazing it's definitely fruits fruity that's definitely a fruit. Mmm, I love it. It it's, smells uh, piney to me. Uh, yeah, pine. Pine, I would say pine. Ah, uh, definitely floral. Why does it smell like soap? Our bath, bath soap. <laughs> 7 out of 14, 50%. <laughs> <laughs> That's a passing grade. <laughs> wow, I didn't, I was not expecting this. So they set up a table for us. And uh, basically this is what we're gonna do. Taste some food and find the same smells that we had in that gallery find them here in this wine so let's see oh amazing so the first wine was uh, Catherine Amphora here we have uh, the vintage 2018 and 13% of alcohol always uh, far away from the far away uh, when you turn it you release the flavors and then but sometimes they cover other um, smells, obviously. So you want to smell it first and then you turn. Yeah. And it's just so delicious. Comunque, veramente <laughs> fantastic. It's just so delicious. He told us this wine has been sitting in one of these barrels for 12 whole months. And he also told us that you're supposed to turn, not turn, but like spin to release the aromatic flavor and you taste more of the wine, correct? <laughs> correct. We're also gonna try Amarone. You really taste the wooden, earthy. Okay, so right now we have two types of wine now. 
like Fabi was saying, this one is very earthy, chocolatey, there's like nutty flavor on it. And the other one is fruity, light, flowers, and very fruity. Did I say fruity already? Yeah, fruity, fruity, fruity. <laughs> Twice. Fruity, fruity. I need to try this one. I haven't tried it yet. Oh my god, it's very rich, the smell. Mm. Oh wow, chocolate. Mi uh, preferito. <laughs> Okay. So. okay, this one is richer. Am I right? The new one. The, the new, new one, one that they poured is richer and it's a lot more scent into it. Mm. Wow, that hit a lot better than this one. I like this one better. It's very earthy. Mm. Yeah, it's true. It's a lot richer. You taste it a lot more. You yeah. taste it, yeah. There's more hint of the flavor in your palate. The, yeah. Okay, so now we're gonna smell the wine straight from the barrel. So we can smell. Because you know what matters is the type of wood that they use in the barrel matters as well in the preservation and the aging of wine. Oh, wow, it has a different smell than the bottle, doesn't it? It's still aging. Really. It's still aging. Yeah. So because I'm the curious one here, I ask some few questions and fun fact, well you guys probably know this already but I ask anyway. After they take out the wine and it's fully aged and it's ready for um, delivery and selling, they actually don't reuse the barrel. Instead, they sell it to somebody in Switzerland. Scotland. No, okay. Scotland. <laughs> they sell it to somebody in Scotland and they use it to make whiskey because the flavor of Amarone actually enhances the flavor of whiskey as well. So it helps in making whiskey. And those big barrels at the back, those big barrels at the back, they actually built them inside here because they cannot bring it in if they build it outside because the doors are so small, smaller than the barrel. Okay, so now we're gonna try the combination with wine and food. So, first up is the first one that they gave us, which is the fruity, flowery, light wine. Stir it. And apparently, this is good with the young cheese, the younger cheese. So, what should I do? Bite and then drink? Mm. Oh my god. It's a party in my mouth. I feel like ratatouille right now. <laughs> I'm ratatouille. <laughs> Now, this is the drunken cheese, and I'm gonna pair it up with. Actually, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna put some onion on it. Onion, red onion jam, red onion jam on the drunken cheese, and I'm gonna pair it up with the 2015 Amarone, aged two years. Wow. Buonissimo. Che buono. Just a reminder. If you're ever here in the area of Bardolino on the Garda Lake, Zeni, Cantina Zeni, that's where you want to go. This is the perfect, the most perfect combination. You know how sometimes you use honey on Parmesan cheese and then you have your wine. This is the most perfect combination I've ever tried because you find some of the flavors also in the wine and that's freaking spectacular. I hope you're not opening this wine just for us. So we've been here for about 20 minutes now in the cellar. We have it all to ourselves. Let's show them. <laughs> There's literally nobody else here. And we've tried, I cannot count anymore, I'm a bit tipsy. Seven types of wine. He just placed seven bottles of wine on our table. And we have seven, of course, seven wine glasses with different types of wine. At this point, I don't know anymore which is which. Maybe Fabio knows because he yeah, organized his wine but i know this is the white wine and the rest is red wine it's very delicious if you guys are here in the area make sure to google zeni zeni fratelli zeni vineyards or wine cantina cantina and we'll link all the information down in the description box or in the comments so you just go ahead click there you actually don't have to book to come here you can just walk in but to secure the spot you should because as you can see there's a very limited seating here in the cellar and it's actually nice here in the cellar because you can hear the music French music in the background it's very nice we just would like to say thank you so much to Rado special shout out to Rado for touring us around the wine cellar and giving us all the information the history of the place the flavors the different type of wine how to taste the wine and to Erika the one of the owners actually we met her earlier and she's so sweet, she's so lovely. We didn't include her in the vlog because she was working, she was busy. It's just amazing. Thank you for thank you so much for treating us so well. We'll make sure to come back here with our family. We're already thinking of bringing Fabio's parents here as a gift. Maybe in the next few days, so yeah. 
I'm not even halfway yet and I'm already so tipsy, but Fabio, he's a real Italian. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> no, oh. <laughs> yeah. And the amo. The amo. <laughs> Chris and Sandra, if you're coming for a visit, we will take you here. Free of charge. You know what? I want to say hi and I want to take here all my my former students. Liz, Chris wait, 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 wait. Take this moment, listen to Fabio because this is the time when he's tipsy and he it becomes <laughs> very con emotional and he becomes very romantic. Yeah, I just thought about all my former students and I really miss you guys. So I would love to take you here, Chris and Sandra. So I want to say hello to Chris and Sandra, Liz, Esther. Barry and Dinah, Mira, Tanya. Especially Liz and Esther because they always comment in our vlogs. Oh yes, thank you Esther. Oh, look at that. My wine is done. Let me just get some more wine. I don't like that. Okay. <laughs> All right, so we are heading home now with a box full of wine. We're both still tipsy. <laughs> Thank you again, Fatello Di Zeni, for having us in, the, in your vineyards. It's so nice. We had a great time. We enjoyed all the wine. Delicious. And now we bought about six bottles of wine. <laughs> and you, if you guys are wondering where we are, it's Zeni. Just look this up. And you need to come here, experience this wine. They have wine tasting. They have amazing view the lake is just right in front of me that's the sign right there they are all very lovely they are very accommodating they're very warm they invited us over it's all family business passed down to generations to generations now we're heading home we got six bottles of wine mainly for fabi's dad let's go home <laughs>